Today I'm showing you a DIY pumpkin made with crafting metal from Hobby Lobby. This is found in the regular ribbon section and for this I'm using three strips of that metal as the main pumpkin component along with a decorative knob that you can also find at Hobby Lobby. Now, I'm also using some chalk mineral paint by Dixie Bell in varying colors. I have chosen a coffee bean, which is like an espresso deep brown chocolate, which is a regular brown, and terracotta, which is like a softer orange. You also need a few different paint brushes, paint cups, paint plates for that portion of the craft. And I also have these scissors, which I'll be using to cut the metal and then wire cutters and your choice of maybe some decorative floral or uh, tendrils for your pumpkin. The first step is to measure out your metal strips. Like I said, you'll be using three strips. They are sharp, so be careful with that part. It can be sharp. And you just measure out 20 inch strips specifically for this craft. Then the first step is gonna be to get all of your strips painted. I'm going with a mix here of the coffee bean, which is the espresso, uh, kind of brown and the chocolate brown and I'm just kind of mixing those not really mixing them before I put them on But I'm dipping my brush in both colors and just kind of brushing over the metal What I love about this is that it's letting some of the silver show through because I'm not just drenching it and so That really gives a nice elegant kind of multi Colored look for me is exactly what I was going for and after you get that all on, I'm taking that terracotta orange just to add a little extra interest with a smaller brush. And it's one of those details that you can see much better in person. But so when I'm looking at the project in person, it's I can see the orange hints and shades. But anyway, you're going to want to do that to your content. And then you'll see me. I'm going to speed up the process because I know you don't want to watch paint dry. You will actually paint the front and the back because of the way that we're building our pumpkin. The front and the back of those metal strips will show. So here I'm just getting, doing my treatment of the browns and the oranges on the metal strips. Again, be careful working with this metal, though you get a clean cut. Just the ends could be sharp and I wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. After we get it built, you'll see how much easier it is. You really won't have to touch that. Once it's all dry, it's time to assemble your pumpkin. So here is my decorative knob from Hobby Lobby. So take note, I'm unscrewing the little uh, nut that comes on there along with a washer that's under there. So if you've never purchased the Hobby Lobby knobs, they're great for all kinds of crafting, but they come with these usually. So like a nut and a washer, and then this under piece that I'm actually, watch what I'm doing, I'm gonna flip it. I'm just kind of wanting to uh, give it a little bit more height the way it looks on my pumpkin. So I achieved that. So set that to the side. And then it is time to Get your strips. Okay, this could be probably the trickiest part of it all. Again, be careful. What I'm doing is I'm kind of forming them like they're gonna be in the circle because I flattened them to paint. And so you're just kind of gently shaping them and then laying them out like so. The visual here is the best that I can explain it to you of where you wanna make sure that you start to kind of build. And I'm going back and forth with the strips, laying them on top of each other making sure that I'm lining up and leaving a tiny hole at the top that also holds all the metal in place that I'm actually going to stick. So I'm showing you the hole there that I'm actually going to stick that knob down into. So you have the knob with my underpiece flipped the way I showed you earlier. Then I'm gonna put my washer on. It looks kind of wonky right now because you have to shape it a little bit. And then I'm screwing my nut back on. And then once you've achieved that where it's holding it great enough for you to work on the next step. You just want to make sure you get it as tight as possible then. And then you just kind of shape it. Now you could come up with a very clever way to keep the bottom portion where all the metal meets secure, but I, besides maybe a little hot glue gun or something to keep those parts from moving down the bottom, I couldn't think of anything that I just had on hand, but I would love to know if you have a suggestion. And so I'm just continuing to shape here and get my pumpkin looking the way I want. And lastly, you can add embellishments of your choice. Here I'm using that favorite stock of mine from Hobby Lobby. It has these cute 
little wire, brown wire pieces that I can make like tendrils, and then it has the cute little leaves. And so I'm sticking those underneath the knob and trying to just really, it's tight enough that you can stick those tiny pieces of wire underneath there. But while I was actually working on this, I decided to loosen my knob just a smidge so that I could get those leaves and wire underneath there even better. And then I'll retighten it after I've gotten it embellished the way that I'm pleased with. And I hope y'all are really liking the way this turns out because this was a fun project. First time I've ever made anything like this and I've had this crafting metal in my craft stash forever. Like seriously, for a couple of years. And I just, a light bulb went off the other night and I decided to put this together and show y'all. So I love the way it came out. I'm getting it all fixed up. And I'm also gonna show you a variation on this design that I did. And so there you see, I'm tightening it up. And that's it, y'all. But like I said, I'm gonna show you a variation because before I painted this, I actually just had the silver metal and this kind of crystally looking knob and I put together a pumpkin that has a little bit more glam look to it. So maybe that's your style. But this one turned out just how I wanted. I hope you enjoyed this craft as much as I enjoyed showing you. For more creative ideas like these, follow Hammond's Nest.